Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Ford S Max. Um, it's been raining all day, this is my third go now at getting this video. Um, I'm aware there's a bit of wetness on the car, I've tried to dry it off as best I can, but I've seen it in the dry so the appraisal should still be pretty decent. Um, right, I'll take you around and show you what's what. Uh, metallic silver, uh, I think it'll probably be moon dust uh, with Ford, but I will double check and put that on the advert. Uh, front parking sensors. LED daytime running lights and fog lights. Panels are all nice and straight. I've spotted a couple of really minor dents which I'll point out as we go around and obviously they'll be the odd stone chip or whatever but not too bad at all. Alloy wheels, they are 17 inch. Um, it's a budget brand tyre on the front and Avon tyres on the back. Indicators in the wing mirrors there. See the rear parking sensors down there. Uh, so the tow bar fitted, twin electrics, seven pin. Parking sensors are definitely working, they're going off there. Um, you'll probably be able to hear them a bit more when I open the boot actually, so I'll try and speak up as best I can. I've got it with the sixth and seventh seats up at the minute, obviously to show you what they're like. If you need a huge boot, they fold absolutely flat to the floor. And those little backing plates kind of go over to make the carpet. They've got magnets on them, which you can just see there and there. Really neat design. So it goes in and stays in nice and straight. Um, right, I'll brave the parking sensors and go in. 12 volt point, false floor type area. We'll be putting a inflation kit in there. And I'll show you these better from the other side, but that's the sixth and seventh seats. They're really solid, robust seats. They don't feel like an afterthought, like on some of the seven seats as we get in. Okay, right, I'll close that down so the parking sensor stop beeping at me. A couple of little scrapes there. I'll touch those in with the correct color, but I just wanted you to see them before I did. And I mean, this one's very hard to spot. I can just catch it at certain angles. Very light, light dent just there. I don't know if maybe just see it at that angle there. But overall, for a 10 year old seven seater, it's a uh, fantastic condition. I don't think I showed you that rear wheel up close to them. sensor there for the automatic wipers the roof as well um, as you can see as well it's got the privacy glass all the way around right let's have a look inside we'll start at the back electric windows in the back fantastic leg room these are all independent on rails so you can have them at different positions these are all as far back as they go to show you the leg room that's available mats present in the back not in the front though, I don't think. I'll check when we get there. That pops out for a little 12 volt point. Isofix on all the rear seats, even including the middle one, which is not usually the case on most vehicles. For accessing the rear seats, it's that. And that gives you loads of room to access the two rear seats, as you can see they're in good condition as well. Over on that one, you've got a little storage area and a cup holder. Lighting above there. And then that's for your middle seat in the middle row. So it comes out and forms a proper three point belt. Other side is obviously much the same. I'm just giving you the full picture here. Everything's in really nice condition. Interiors held up really well. I'll show you this back seats from this angle too. So it just slides forward and you can get in there nice and easy. And 
and then you just pull the rail up from underneath and slot it back into place. Heading into the front now. Obviously you've got electric windows in the front as well. You've got these metallic Ford kick plates. The front seats have airbags built into the side. Again, they're in really good order. Airbag up here, like a gunmetal grey, sort of polished metal dash. In the glove box we have blocking wheel nut. Uh, you have to use that if you're going to fill up out of a jerry can. And then there's a load of literature and owner's manuals. I'll include a picture of that so you can see exactly what's included. Got some storage netting down the side there as well. Okay, so as you've already seen, electric windows all round. There's a lock for those as well, and it's got electric mirrors. The driver's seat has electric height adjustment, which the other ones don't have. You've got an extra little storage area there, and knee height airbags just here. Auto headlights. I'm going to get inside now. Just turn the radio down and everything. Uh, so. There's your mileage, 87,811. No warning lights on. The little yellow eye there is, um, I'll go into it just to, if I can. Uh, information is that one of the key batteries is low. So nothing more sinister than that. See if I can get back out of that. Yeah, there we are. Um, so you've got your wipers over this side, indicators over this side, there's your phone buttons when you've got your Bluetooth linked up, and it has got the voice command as well. Cancel. Command cancelled. Multifunction steering wheel, so your audio is over this side, your cruise control here, and then that one is for the onboard computer that I was controlling there. As you can see it's got like a colour readout display. You see there I'm on the DAB radio, which is over here. It's got auxiliary, CD, USB and Bluetooth audio as well. And then you link your phone up just there, so nice and simple to use. Heated front and rear screens up there, along with your hazard lights and the option to turn off your parking sensors. Uh, dual zone digital climate control, I've got that on now and it is blowing lovely and cold, so not in need of a regas or anything like that. 12 volt point in there, 6 speed manual gearbox, manual handbrake, not an electronic one, cup holders, two original far, uh, <laughs> stumbled over, where's there, Ford smart keys, one of which needs a battery change as we know. Armrest is in two stages, little storage area at the top, and if you pull that tab out underneath, that's where your USB auxiliary and another 12 volt point R. You've got airbags up there, little map reading lights here. Look like they might be LEDs, those ones. Uh, you've got like a document holder here, sunglasses holder here, and there's your micro microphone for your Bluetooth and the sensors for your alarm. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror, I believe, because it's got the little sensor in there. And that about rounds out everything that I can see. Um, if there's something I've missed, please just give me a call and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. Uh, when I build the adverts, I put as many photos as it will allow of the inside, the outside and any paperwork that came with the car. So hopefully, paired with this video, it would give you a really good and sort of transparent view of what to expect if you're having this one delivered and you live too far away to come into the site. Obviously, if you're more local and you want to pop in and check it out for yourself, you're more than welcome to do that. We just ask that you please make an appointment first. Okay, thank you very much for watching.